probably keep you because you'll realize if you lean a little bit and you just a little bit of dropping your leg down, you'll move off of it. You only have to actually touch it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Where are you going? Oh, where are you going? Oh, where are you going? Oh. Following you? He's following you. Where are you going? Oh. He's looking for you to give him directions. Oh, what, Chris, why don't you walk around the pen with him for a second? that's what you were wanting but the legs are there for reinforcement okay. but he will move off the legs without the reins okay, well, and just relax and get used to feeling him huh? and just get used to feeling him how he moves because he doesn't move like a normal horse no he doesn't and wait till he trots and you get him collected it's nice and use that inside foot to push him over. And <laughs> somebody's waving. Well, if you make him. He seems pretty relaxed. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. You don't have to tell him to change. Your foot needs to go forward, though, where the girth is when you okay. touch him. Okay, yeah. Oh. Okay. Where do you wowing go? Huh? Where'd you go wow for? He's pretty responsive to your leg. Yeah. yeah. And using the reins to turn, if you want to make a sharper turn, you'll actually sit down in the saddle, lean to the inside, apply pressure with the outside stirrup, and he'll make a sharper turn. Okay. 